thank the Lord for allowing me to be here tonight. It's good. It's good. And um, just a little message. I know it's early, but we try to schedule God with schedule him right out of service. We'll say I'm glad to see everybody that's here tonight. I'm glad you come our way. It's a blessing to be in church with you. And I've got just a little little bit that the Lord has given to me. I thought I'd like to be willing to do what the Lord would want me to do. Uh, yeah, it means much to mind the Lord. Uh, to be one that the Lord can call upon and trust. And to know that you will do exactly what He asks you to do. You got your Bibles, you're welcome to go with me to the book of Ezekiel in the 47th chapter. But I said, Afterward he brought me again unto the door of the house. Behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east. And the waters came down from under, from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the other gate by the way that looketh eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. Again he measured a thousand and brought me through the water. The waters were to the knees. Again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters or to the loins. Afterward he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. I thought maybe the Lord began to kindly lay this upon my heart. I know we've heard this many times through the years. Uh, but the good news is, no matter how many times we heard it, no matter how many years ago it's been since you first heard it, it reads the same way tonight as it did then. And the way is the same tonight as it was back then. God is the same. He never changes. And He never will change. Uh, but I feel maybe just tonight by the help of the good Lord to talk just a little bit to me and you. Uh, anybody else that would have been here, I'd talk to them, but they're not here. Uh, so you just listen to me for a little bit tonight. I thought maybe as I begin to meditate upon the Scripture, I thought of our church world today. And if we look around, it's, it's not that we are missing singers. It's not that we don't have musicians. Uh, it's not that we don't have preachers and prophets and teachers. Uh, it's not that we don't have the signs of God. Uh, but I wonder tonight if you could agree with me that what is lacking in the church today is a deepness of the Spirit. We are lacking a deepness of the anointing of God. Uh, there's a shortage in the house of God uh, for that that is able to edify the people of God. I thought many times in what we see move, uh, maybe folks will pray and they'll go to a certain point and they'll speak in tongues. Uh, but the tongues that gets on them don't edify the house of God, but it edifies yourself. Amen. Uh, many times we'll have a sermon preached and uh, maybe it won't edify and have nobody, uh, but it'll edify the man that's trying to preach it. And 
I want if you can agree with me tonight that we need something deeper. There's something that'll just build me up. I need to get a hold of something that'll build you up. I need to get a hold of something that'll touch you and move in your heart and move in your mind. I don't need to just get concerned about my people, but we need to be concerned about everybody's people. For we're living in the last days. Just bear out with me and stay with me a little while. I don't want to talk to you. Are you at the place that you want to be with God? Are we in the place that the Lord can move on me and you the way that He wants to move on me and you? I would just pray with you just a little bit tonight. We feel like stopping. We feel like going on. I thought maybe the, the, the things that we press and the way the enemy presses me, uh, maybe that at times he'd like to press me plumb out. <laughs> uh, and the only thing I know to do is when the good Lord will let me is preach as much holiness as I know how to preach to get back at the devil. But children, we are lacking somewhere tonight. We're lacking that sound that we've been taught about. Amen, preacher. Amen. We're lacking that touch of the anointing of God moving in mind in your lives. Amen, preacher. I thought I'd begin to look around tonight and maybe we've not no big crowd, but you know who we do have here? We have many of the ones that the Lord moves through anyhow. Well, look, you thought about it or not. But that's who's sitting here in the house of God tonight. But I wonder how many were defeated because we didn't have a church house full. I like to tell you, we don't have to have a building full. We don't have to have my people. We don't have to have your people. It'd be good to have all of them. But what we do need to have is the Spirit of God moving on me and you. We need to have something working through me and you. I'm going to ask you again, are you where you want to be with the Lord? Yeah, as long as you've been since the Lord has moved through you. I want you to notice in the Word of God. <coughs> the Bible begins to read and tell us how that the man that was with him went out and he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought him into ankle deep water. So I thought maybe how that he would take him out a little bit further and the water come to the knees. Yeah. And he took him out a little further. And he came to the loins. And he took him out a little bit further. And he brought him to waters to swim in. But I never did read in this scripture where the angel took him out into knee deep water and then come back and took him back to the ankle deep water. I never read where he got to the swimming water and the man come and took him back to the knees. Oh, we can always grow deeper in the Lord. We've always got room to move out and get closer to God. But we don't have no time. We don't have no business going the wrong way from the deep end to the shallow end. Amen. What's wrong with God, people? We got comfortable with what we've got. And what we've got too many times is too shallow. Not enough depth to it to meet the need that our brothers and sisters have need of. Amen. Too many times we have a sermon preached and when it's done we're looking at one another saying what in the world was he trying to tell us? Because they had no message. Because God never moved on them to begin with. Amen. I love where I'm at and I know where I'm at. I'm here to talk to me and you tonight about the waters is deeper than where me and you are. There's deeper depths in this than just coming out and singing a song. There's deeper depths than just shouting a shout. Well, there's a Holy Ghost that can teach your heart. He can instruct you and let you know secret things. He can give you answers to your own problems that you don't have to ask nobody else. He can educate me and you, but He can't work with anybody that's satisfied sitting on the bank and throwing stones in the water. Amen. 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 I feel good tonight. You all day long, what the Lord want me to bring? I come ain't nobody gonna see. Let's preach. Ain't nobody gonna testify. Let's get the word out. Let's look at it together. Boy, when me and you get in the waters to swim in, we won't have to come out and look at one another. Somebody will have a testimony. Somebody. Here and get them out and pass them around and not have no fear about me and you. 
but you can't do it sitting on the bank. You gotta get in the water. You gotta be willing and obedient. That the Lord leads you out there. Where we at tonight, children? Where we at tonight? You know where we are tonight? As a people. As a whole, I ain't just talking about ages, church. Everywhere you go, it's everywhere. People are just so unconcerned about the house of God. They're unconcerned about the Spirit of God. Really don't even get in and study much the Word of God. What we've got, we've come up with a hybrid. Hmm? We've got maybe the shouting and the singing and the music. But the lifestyle on the outside don't match up to what the book tell me you to do. Have you got nothing to do with all this? Have you ever done that through the week? They ain't got no wood. Talking about chopping nothing down through the week. Amen. 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 I preach to you a little bit tonight? It is past time that we get in a hurry. All of God's children. Where are we at? Where are we at, children? We're in the cares of this life. We're in the deceitfulness of riches. Amen. We're carried away with all these other things when we're forgetting the most important thing is keeping fire on our altar. Keeping our altars warm with the Lord. Just saying, God, take me a little bit deeper. I'd just like to ask you tonight, how many times have you prayed this week and said, God, give me something that when I go out to your house, that'll move on me and help my brothers and sisters? Hmm? You singers, how many meals did you push aside this week and say, God, I'd rather have the anointing of God move on me. Mm. Well, 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 well. How many of you preachers that said, God, give me something that when I get to the house of God, I can feed somebody. That I can get that ball and put it up on them, that healing salve and apply it to them. Help me, Lord. Tell you something. This prayer request and three or four songs and preaching over the altar, half the church goes home. Amen. The other half sits and talks. A couple more songs, break, go home. That is not church. Amen. It is not church. Amen. Amen. Many times it takes us two and three hours just to get our minds to the place together when we can begin to have church. Amen. You can't worship God in your flesh. I can't worship God in my flesh. But if I touch God, I've got to touch Him in my spirit. i got to worship Him in the truth. Hello, somebody. You are we all tonight. We are looking at all them old brothers a long time ago. The ones we used to watch out in the swimming waters. And we testify about them. And we talk about what they did. But in the meantime, we're on the bank. Kicking rocks. Kicking them up. And throwing it to one of the meeting boy. Boy, if you can live this better than brother and sister, get in and live it and show it. If you know how to live it, live it. If you know how to get the fire of God, get the fire of God. Somebody's going to have to turn loose the sight. Somebody's going to have to get a hunger and a desire about us. God's just not going to pour this on me and you. There's a life we got to live. There's a road we got to walk. There's a word we got to measure up to. There's a prayer life you got to have. Amen. Amen. Where are we at tonight? Where are we? Where are we at? We look to ones that's been gone 20 and 30 years. They're at rest. They're at peace. Their lot is done. Their, their time is put in. You know what we're doing? We're sitting around and we're just right. thinking on things that used to be. When we fail to realize that it's mine and your time. Right. Right. It is our time. Yeah. See, they had their time and they used their time wisely. Right. Well, Lord. Right. Now me and you've got our time. Somebody's about to let it go away from you. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, hello. Some just about out of some 
that she forgot how to see the Lord. Oh, oh somebody. Yeah. Whatever happened to denying yourself and taking up your cross and following the Lord daily. Right. Whatever happened to that? I'll tell you nothing never happened to it. It's still there. Right. The failure's in me. Right. In my flesh. In my desires. In my wills. Glory, 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 glory. Hello, somebody. You sit out back. Get your plate tonight. God help us to get this down inside where it can do me and you some good. How deep are you tonight? How long have you been in the kiddie pool? How long have you been in the kiddie pool? You ever used to have a public pool? They had a deep end and a more shallow end and they had a little bitty thing for babies. It always was a silly thing to see a grown man standing in the kiddie pool. Huh? What we got today, we got too many grown men that needs to get out of the baby pool and learn to swim. Need to learn about the God that you claim you've got. Hell, I can claim anything on But do I possess what I profess? Do I have that movie that I claim to know about? Glory to God, you can look back all these years ago and what used to be done and you can sit there and die lost without the power of God or you can begin to dig down and say, God, let me have that mantle. Let me have the anointing. Move me out deeper, Lord. Lord, we are we too content? We're too content for this. You want something from God? You've got to seek God to get it. Amen. There's a difference between praying and seeking God. Hmm? There's a difference, boys. There's a time that we pray when you want something from the Lord. You pursue that with all your heart. You say, Lord, I want this more than I want to trip to town. I'd rather just take it, cancel that trip, stay home and seek your face. Hello. Amen. There's times you say, Lord, I don't feel like going, but I need you to move in this and do this for me. And I'm going to press out and go in. Right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Come on, church. Hello. We're too busy looking at one another, wondering who's got it. I'm going to tell you who's got it. The one that sought it out is the one that's got it. The one that paid the price is the one that's got it. If you ain't prayed any during the week, you ain't sought God any all week long. Don't get up trying to tell everybody how to live. Don't get up trying to let them like you something when you're failing God on your own. I'm here to tell us tonight it's time to jump in. There's deeper water. There's deeper water, brothers, than where you're at tonight. God got greater things, a greater anointing. Then what you felt? You gotta get a hunger. You gotta get a desire. You will never get any more fault. He never took him back into shallow water. But every time he took him out, he took him deeper and deeper and deeper. Hmm? Hey, some of you had great experiences with the Lord. I'm going to tell you tonight, God's got greater. He's got deeper. I've seen the dead raised. I've absolutely seen with my own eyes. Been right there. I've seen the sick healed. I've seen God anointing to handle servants. I've seen it. I felt it. He's moved through me. Do you know what it did? He gave me more of a hunger to want more. Right. Mm. More of a hunger to want more. Right. You know what I'm afraid is happening in the majority of other people. Yeah. We come out and we move in our spirit. Come on. I ain't saying everybody. Right. But the majority, especially this generation that's coming up, Man. that don't seek God, that don't fast and pray, that backbite and devour one another. Mm? Come on. They commit fornication. Amen. 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 Have all manner of lasciviousness in their life. Right. Mm? 
Oh, when they come out too many times, they're moving and what they got a hold of is the shallow. You don't even hardly edify yourself. Right. <laughs> Amen. Oh, Amen. I know the Bible teaches us about tongues. Right. Mm, you speak in tongues, you edify yourself. But you can get deeper than that and speak in tongues and interpret right. and edify the house of God. Glory, 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 glory. I feel good in my soul tonight. For this time we begin to get up, shake ourselves, find out where we're at. How long, brother, are you going to be content to stay in the shallow? I know fasting hurts you. If you fast right, it'll get you to hurt your body. Amen. That's what it's for, to afflict yourself and bring yourself down. That's what it's for. Hmm? Well, well, but they told me when you fast, you anoint your head, you wash your face, and don't you eat nor drink. That's awful, shallow, amen. Come on now. Don't you eat nor drink. Well, I put the finger on it. I showed you where it was, Moses. Four times he did it. Forty days and nights. Hmm? Amen. Go look it up. Find out for yourself. Is this little bit that you give up something you don't like? You think God accepts that kind of sacrifice? If you don't care nothing about it, what makes you think God cares anything about it? Hell, somebody. You can have what you want with God, but it'll cost you the world. It'll cost you a worldly life. Amen. Amen. How many of our people pray till they say they get the Holy Ghost? And the next thing you know, they don't move no more. Well, they ain't the Holy Ghost I know about. Hell, somebody. Go right ahead and pray for me. We'll talk to you tonight. The Holy Ghost is power. He is the anointing of God. He is the power of God, the Spirit of God to do the works of God. He did not give me the Holy Ghost to sit on my seat. Amen. Where are we tonight? How deep are you in the wall? Huh? How deep are we? Are we wanting to go deeper? Are we wanting a closer walk with the Lord? Oh, if only God's people will get a hunger to touch the Lord. A hunger that if nobody else wants to touch you, Lord, let me touch you. If nobody else is willing to move, Lord, give me that and let me move. How many of our people? Let's go a little closer. I can seek the Lord all week long. I can pray and talk to Him. And I can come to church. And He can bid me to move and I can hold my sin and fail God and lose every soul. Uh, hmm? Lose all that ground that I made. Disobedience is sin. Amen. It ain't robbing a bank, but you're still sinful if you disobey the Lord. But when we get deep enough, the little things won't hinder me and you. When we want God greater than anything, right. we'll be willing to do anything to touch Him. Right. Or are we tonight, children? Oh, or are we? Oh, Lord. Or are we tonight? Ooh. I can remember as a child, you may not believe this, but there absolutely was a time I could sit on the front porch at my house. Mother would be at church. You know, they'd open the doors then. They had the air like we got. They opened the windows, opened the doors. And in the summertime, when the wind blew just right, I could sit up there at the house as a boy, and I could hear just faintly, I could hear that sound, that singing coming out of this church. And we're so close to the bank that the sinners can walk by tonight and have to strain to hear an amen. When you fast and you pray, and it means something to you. When you come out and you feel that anointing of God, you'll want Him to move on. Holiness people are loud people. 
Amen. That's what separates us. One of the things that separates us from the rest of them. That and the way we live, the way we dress, the places we don't go, the things we do, the things we believe in. You know, somebody. I'm here to tell you tonight, and I believe I'm safe to tell you, if our generation doesn't dig down and begin to seek the face of God, holiness in this area will disappear. Yes. Amen. I know somewhere there'll be faith in this world, but that don't mean Harlan County. Uh -huh. Amen? Look where we are already. Look where we're at already. And there's still holiness being preached. What are we going to do, children? You know what your grandchildren and my children need to see? They need to see the power of God. Yes. They need to see the anointing of God move. Yes. They need that to move on you and me. Yes. That they can know for their self. And when they grow up, the old worldly church can't get a hold of them and tell them something different. Yes. Well, sweet humble ammo, God. Yes. Well, sweet humble yes. Savior. Yes. Precious Lord. Yes. In the book of Matthew in the 17th chapter and the 14th verse. The Bible said, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to Him a certain man kneeling down to Him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Right. Right. Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Yeah. Tell you what most of you think in this kind of kind of stuff about <coughs> fasting and prayer, but I want to tell you what he said first. Amen. Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. God help me. Lord help me. Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Then he said, How be it, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. If Jesus told Peter, James, and John that they would have to pray and fast for the authority and the power of God to move in their lives, how much more do you think that you and I will have to pray and fast to get the authority of God moving in mind in your life. Do you know what we're looking for? We're looking for somebody else to get a hold of. We're looking for somebody else to move. We're wondering what's wrong with the church. We're wondering why God ain't moving. And much of the time God is speaking to me and you. Telling us what we need to do. Telling us how we need to move. Hello somebody. While God is moving on me, there ain't no reason for me to look at you and wonder why you ain't moving. Right. If God has told me to do something, I don't need to look at Russell and say, why well, ain't Russell moving? If God needs Junior to step out and do something, Junior don't need to wonder why the Lord ain't had His way in the service. Amen. Amen. If we ain't careful, if we ain't careful, we'll spend so much time in the shallow water. But let me tell you something. I'd rather be in ankle deep water than sitting on a rock on the beach watching everybody else get it. Amen. 
Amen. God, let me get in the ankle deep water. You ever been to that time you'd love to have a drop? Lord, just one little drop, just let it fall on me. Because the same thing that's in the swimming water comprises the same thing that's in the ankle deep water. The difference is the depth to which you can go. Where are we tonight? Yes, thank you, Lord. I'll try to get out of your way by the help of the good Lord. But before I close, how many, don't put your hand up, don't want to say, but how many begin to move out and try to mind the Lord and try to pray more and get a mind that you're going to try to seek the Lord closer and you do it for a few days. And then something comes along to hinder. And the next thing you know, it's been weeks since you tried to really seek the Lord. Not just praying, but seeking the Lord. And I'm talking about striving to touch the throne of mercy. How many times do we say, Lord, I want to do better. And we start out with good intentions. And the next thing you know, the water begins to get deeper. And we pull back. Because we're afraid. Amen. Amen. You know that the Lord, He has no pleasure in them that draw back. Huh? I'm drawing back all the time from the Lord. He can't be pleased with me. He's looking for somebody. Children, is there anybody under the sound of my voice that would like to go swimming? Yes. You silly preacher, it's winter time. What are you talking about? Ain't yeah. hey, there anybody yeah. that ever yeah. stands on the banks of Jordan yeah. and longs just to go for a dip? Yeah. How long has it been? Helping God. How long has it been? God. Mm. That that it took to get the Lord to move on you the first time, that's what it'll take today to get the Lord to move on you. How long has it been, Mother, since the Lord has let you handle a serpent? Okay, funny for about two boys. That's just as much as all of as anything else. I've been accused of a lot of things. But you mark the liar and know who they are. And have no more dealings with them. The boys, there's things that the Lord would love for us to get into. And I know you mentioned serpents and you feel people draw back. And that's the only thing they want to get into. No! There's five signs and there's more than that we can get into. Right. Lord have mercy, why do we want to look at more than that when we ain't even doing the fight that God put in the book? We ain't in the water deep enough in the place that God can move on me. Right. He needs an example. We need a warrior to move out in the water and lead God's children. Right. <laughs> Homecoming. Homecoming. First time the Lord lets you handle one. You look back on that now and you can still get strength off of it. Why? Because it was the real anointing of God. I can think back to the first time the Lord ever moved on me. Sister Lil sitting right where you're at. And me sitting right where Mike's at. And Gary Long sitting where you're at. And she began to sing that song, I'll Fly Away. And she, you know how Lil starts it out. She began to belt that out. May something come from way far off. And it went down and it went deep. And when it come back up, he stood me up. And when I stood up, Gary spun out of his seat, got the box out from under him and set it up because he knew what that was. He knew what it was when it moved. And the Lord moved me and walked me out. And by the time I got to here, Junior, Gary had him waiting on me. Because when the Lord moves on your end, when it's marked, He moves on my end too. He never had to hold the head for me. He didn't say, here, I'll hold the head and you hold the head. Because there was enough moving in my life, it didn't matter head, tail, or thing. It didn't matter what I could hold up. They were there. There was a movie there. Get a hunger. We gotta get.
that by faith. We see enough of them. I'll hold it in your hands. Boys, give me something deeper than that. I ain't talking about something I don't know about. I couldn't preach it if I didn't know. I love that it moves with a good old cry. That it moves with tears and a joy and a greatness and a deepness. And it'll put something in there and you can go for days and days and days and think back on it and it'll lift you up and give you strength. Come on. Come on. How long is it been? How long is it been? Come on. Well, let's just go to the surface, Bob. You listen, how long has it been since you spoke in tongues? Yeah. How long has it been? We are holiness, right? We are holiness. Are we holiness? We are holiness. You know, I could tell Chris and I could tell Charlie, I could tell Debbie, there is a place you get to with God that that third part of the Trinity, which we call the Holy Ghost, absolutely comes from God out of heaven and it'll go way down to a depth in your soul that you don't even know exists. And when it goes down in, and it makes a few laps and come back out, there'll be something get a hold of your tongue, and it'll speak. Won't nobody have to tell you what to say, won't have to spell no words out, won't have to repeat words. But boy, when we turn loose and get off the riverbank, when we get out of the shallow water, we can get a hold of the great things of God. We can get a hold of that that doesn't need no help. You don't need no help. Glory. I'm not trying to take up all the time. We all hold this on. We are holding this on. We are holding this on. I wouldn't preach you Holy Ghost baptized speaking in tongues. I didn't know for myself it was real. Mm. 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 He didn't give me that Holy Ghost just to speak in tongues. He didn't send that and give that to you just to speak you in tongues. He gave that to you for power. He gave that to you for authority over the spirits that comes in this place. Mm. Hello, somebody. Well, 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 well. Would you like to get in holiness, children? Would you like to get in? You know what I said, Pat? I'm, I thought you testified one night about unbelief. I've been praying, Lord, please help my unbelief. God, please take my unbelief. Do something with it. Help me. Make me stronger than what I am. I guess that's why I went through more than what I've been going through here lately. Glory to God. But would you like to get in holiness? Would you like to know that you know that you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I always enjoyed listening to people tell stories of how the Lord moved on. But there is nothing that will ever top first-hand experience. There is nothing. See, you may not feel it the way I do when I talk about that first time He anointed me to do that. But I feel it every time I talk about it. And can't nobody come to me and say it's not of God because I've already felt it in my soul. And I know that there's an anointing of God that will move on His children. You say to yourself right now, and you say, oh Lord, I, I'm afraid of them. I never do that. I'm here to tell you, when God comes by with that, Amen. the fear is gone. Amen. I said the fear is gone. Amen. Fear moves out and charity moves in. Amen. I'm just going to tell you just over and over again. And people fall out and say what you want to about me. But to be a holiness preacher, you'll have to have experiences in these things or you can't preach it. Amen. Amen. That's not you know, my brother in law not to push him, and you can, he's free. Solid where he's at, you can't push him too much. But I believe somewhere down the road that'll get on him. He preaches holiness. Hmm? 
He said these signs shall follow. He said these signs shall He said these signs shall follow them that believe. Well, 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 well. He said these signs. What signs? The five that he lists after that. He said these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. His name, not my name, his name. Well, 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 well. well, well. How long are we going to sit on the riverbank? Ages, church, how long are we going to sit on the riverbank? How long are we going to say it? How long are we going to look for somebody else and say, God, don't move like that no more? Don't mind the house of God. Somewhere in this world, the Holy Ghost is moving. It's not time here, but the sun is shining somewhere. And somewhere in this world, the Holy Ghost is moving. And they're a child of God performing the works of God. There's somebody somewhere that's in the water deeper that's experiencing God. And I just come to preach to us tonight. We can have that. Right. We can have it. We can have it. I thought I opened it up the other night. Last night. Opened it up last night. And I read it to Brother Russell. I just kind of maybe teased him just a little bit. And I said, well, it's still there. I said, it's still there. He said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Who's he talking to? He's talking to the preacher. He's talking to his disciples. Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. God, help my unbelief. In my name, Shall they cast out devils? If we ever needed a devil, cast out. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. <laughs> and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. And I ain't going to stop there. So then after the Lord spoke unto them, He was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. This is why I said, Terry, somewhere the Lord's going to move on you to do these things. They preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the Word with signs. Amen. Let us not leave out the amen. Amen. Where was he? You just shake them holy bones, them old holiness bones, and see if anything's still rattling down inside your soul tonight. Shake them old dusty bones and see if there's anything still down inside her tonight. Glory, glory, glory. See if that Holy Ghost going to move from time to time. Want to bust out of there and work the works of God. You know what we gotta do? We gotta get out in the water. We gotta get out there in the water. We're going. Glory, glory. I love what I feel so attracted to all the time. I can sit down, we can look at each other. I can sit down, we can wait for somebody to think of a song we sing. Or we can come together as one people and say that together we can touch God and get him to move here. We can touch the Lord and get Him to move here. Well, He don't just have to move on third Sunday. He's God every day of the week. He's God every day of the month. Every month of the year, He's God all the time. It's up to me and you. It's up to me and you. What do you want? 
What do you want from God? What do you want from Him? What do you want from Him? Hmm? Mark, he's got the Holy Ghost for you. He's got the Holy Ghost for you. And we got so weak, Jared, and we don't believe that the Lord can still baptize with the Holy Ghost. Have we gotten so far from God that we wonder if He's going to bring you to do that? Lord, have mercy. Check yourself and find out where you're at. Are we still in the faith tonight? Are we still in the faith? Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. You mind the Lord. Let the Lord move on you. When you get done, we'll up the altar and let you pray.